Charter Local Edition with your host, Mark Staples. Today, we're in Cody, Wyoming, at the Cody High School, at WAM, which is the Wyoming Association of Municipalities. And one of the guests for WAM and for us is Dave Duffy, the Mayor of Warland. Dave, welcome. Thank you. It's Thank good you to be here. Thank you for coming. I'm sure you're here for the conference. Has it been a good one so far? It has been good. We've, uh, we, we have lots of good sessions and seminars and uh, it's an opportunity to, to get together and share difficulties and, and commiserate with one another about the things that, are, that go on in cities and towns. And Before we get into enjoyable. the difficulties and the enjoyable parts of it, how'd you come to be the mayor of Warland? Tell me a little about your personal background and then your political background. Well, actually, I, I flunked retirement. Oh, that'll uh, happen. Yeah, and so I... Uh, oh, that syndrome. I got into... Uh, got on the city council and, and had some time, I thought, and, and one thing led to another, and and, uh, and there was going to be an opening for mayor, and I ran and, and was elected, and, and so here I am. What's your background besides politics, which obviously happened later in life? I started out uh, oh, many years ago with the telephone company as a cable splicer and worked my way up oh, to... back when it was the phone company. Back when it was the phone company, and worked my way up to fiber and all the electronics and the information age. And you've been the and, mayor of Warland for? Well, this is be my fourth year. Fourth year. Fourth year. And Warland is where in the state of Wyoming and what size? Warland is a town of a little over 5,000 and it's located in the, sort of in the southeast corner of the northwest corner of the state, not too far from Yellowstone Park, not too far from Cody. And what makes Warland vibrate? What? You know, what is vibrating? What, what, what are the, the, the main ingredients? Well, I don't know about about vibrating. Yeah. It's it's a uh, it's a great small town, uh, lots of good people there, and we uh, we enjoy being able to go to the Bighorn Mountains. We're about twenty five minutes from the mountains, and uh, we have a very diverse area, uh, diverse in uh, we have badlands, and we have, as I say, access to the mountains. It's pretty much an agricultural community, and it's uh, kind of on the way to Yellowstone Park. And, and so you get a pretty good tourism. We have, we have quite a few input. tourists that go through through Orland and, and come this direction. So what are you? So what are your issues? In five years, you're into them. Uh, yeah. Well, we I don't know that we have issues. Okay. We have uh, we have uh, some things going on currently. The the primary thing I think we're going to be faced with is the downturn in the oil industry. And the uh, changes in revenue for the cities, as they come from the state, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, is there oil and gas in that county? Yes, there is. We have uh, we have a very diverse economy. We have oil and gas, and we have uh, sugar beets. Uh, we have uh, one of the biggest Pepsi bottling plants in the United States. Uh, that covers, in Worland. In Worland, and they they cover. Uh, the region really they they have uh, other offices and locations in, in uh, Idaho and, and Utah as well as Wyoming. You think people and, are looking for that small town atmosphere? That you know, I think they are. I think uh, I think what we have to offer people in Orland is is a good thing. We're working on uh, more bike trails and and uh, you know enhancing the kinds of things that uh, that people can do in in Orland and and uh, we have great school system and. As I say, a very diverse economy. We are probably, for a town of our size, the most diverse in Wyoming. Elaborate on that a little bit. Well, we have, uh, as I said, we have the Pepsi, um, and we have, uh, Admi that's Admiral Beverages, and we have uh, a plant that makes cans for Crown Cork and Seal. We have uh, a sugar beet factory. Uh, we have a, an area where the uh, it, it's a uh, bentonite plant, uh, Black Hills bentonite. Uh, lots of other different kinds of, of industries. Wow, uh, all of this gas. in a town of 5,000? Uh-huh, yes. And is this recent, developed, uh, or is this no, over it's, the years? No, it's been over the years, and uh, it's, it's developed over time. And, and, uh, it's uh, kind of, because of that diversity, the, the kinds of things I think that will happen to other towns as a result of the downturn in oil uh, will be a little less severe, we hope, in, in Worland. What about, you, 
Summer events are a big thing in the Rockies. We've got, in the uh, West. They are, and we've got uh, the Pepsi State Barbecue Festival or contest, and uh, and a grass uh, bluegrass festival that, that is done in co in cooperation with that. It'll be uh, on the about the nineteenth of August, I believe, is the is two the three days. Mm -hmm. Three days. And, and the uh, town swells from five thousand to. Well, there's, it's hard, you know, it's hard to say. It's all done outside, and, and uh, they've, they've tried to work it so there's no entry fee, so we don't know how much exactly uh, we're collecting as far as, um, I mean, it's not collected, and there's no entry fee collected, so it's hard to get an exact count on how many people are in town for that, but uh, it's always a good time and, and a good way to, to spend the afternoon and evening in, uh, in August when it's sometimes too warm to do anything else, so. You've been the mayor for five years. I have been. I don't know you had how long you intend to keep that position, but project five years from now your vision for Wood. Well, I think we'll continue to, to grow slowly and, and uh, we'll, we'll prosper, I think, with the, with the uh, diversity that we have. And, and uh, it'll still be a good, good place to live with lots of good people. And, and it's also... Uh, Statistically, one of the safest towns in the state of Wyoming, too. So, it's, ever more uh, important, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, in this uh, new world, the, the way things are, it's it's a very important factor. Well, thank you so much for coming to see well, us. Thank you. I I'm glad you're at the conference. I'm glad you're picking things up. And if, if you're a representative of Worland, Worland as well, it, it, well worth visiting. It's, well, we hope people will come see us. Well, we'd like to thank you for coming and visiting Charter's local edition, and we'd like to thank all of you tuning in. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Charter Local Edition has been an exclusive presentation of Charter Communications, providing original programming.